In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a second look at creating subtitles. We've already looked at several ways in which you can set up the type of subtitle you want and how to drop either a subtitle or a subtitle marker in your subtitle track, which is above track number one. Here we're going to look a little bit at the text that we put in. There are several ways you can enter text into uh, a subtitle. You can go up into the grid and on the third column under subtitle text, you can double click and start to edit. And so I can type in, this is a subtitle, exclamation point. Now the temptation is to press the enter key. Let me show you what happens if you do. If I press enter, it doesn't exit the box. It starts another line. So I have a second line in my subtitle. Now when I click off of it, I notice now I have a subtitle with two separate lines. If that's what I want, that's terrific. But sometimes uh, we accidentally will enter the enter key when we won't really want to exit our editing in the subtitle. In order to edit that again, I can right click on it and click on edit subtitle. It comes back or I can double click down here. Uh, and that will get me to the same edit place. So that's something you have to remember when you're entering subtitle text. Another thing is when you have lots of text, I'm going to click on the top box here. And here I have lots and lots of words in there. It word wraps in this box, but you notice on the screen it does not. It will center everything um, no matter how long my text happens to be. So if I add another sentence and click off of it, what it's done is it's gone ahead and centered even more. Now this does not crawl across the screen like closed caption would. So when I go ahead and try to play the video from this point in time, go ahead and play it. You notice it just is frozen at the center for the duration of the subtitle, which is really not what I want. So you can't, cr can't treat this exactly like a closed caption. If I have a lot of text that I do want on the screen, what I need to do is go back in here. I need to enter it. And then I need to figure out about where the end of the, the lines are going to be and hit Press enter, start a new line. And I probably have to do it at least two times, if not three times. Let's click over here and see what we have when we click out of it. I still have too much text, so I have to go back. I can also right click and do edit again. And maybe try after the word box again. Um, let's see. I'll Put the cursor there, press enter, click off of it, and here I have it. But you see it's a very clumsy way to do this uh, when you have text like this. Uh, what you want normally is something more simple, like you have a measured number of words on the screen. Let me show you a couple of other things you can do with your text once you have it the way you want it. Uh, you can right click on it and click on font settings. Or the other way to get there is to click on the T icon below the grid. Either way, you get to the same screen. And this is a place where you can change the font of that particular um, uh, format. You can change the color of the text. You can change the shadow. Uh, let's change it to a green here. Let's change the size. Let's go up to a 24. And um, uh, the border, there's some things we can't change. We can, these are about all that we can. And so I'm going to click here and click on OK. And now I've changed it. Now if I go back there and want to change every font, uh, I, I can right click and go uh, Font Settings. Then I click on Apply to All. And it will change every subtitle in this particular project. 
and so I can do that. If I'm up in another one, I notice it did not go ahead and change it. I can right click, edit it. Oops, right click and we'll do it. We'll change the change the text here. Uh, let's change this to a different kind. We'll uh, try this uh, chunk five and uh, we'll change the background color to uh, bright red. And there we have this one. Align multiple text left. I can do it left, center, or right. Let's try center here. Click OK. And now it's aligned center. So that shows me a different way I can, I can work with my titles. The other thing I can do, if I have any of them, is I can click, once they're highlighted, I can click on my uh, arrows, up, down, left, right, and I can change the X position, the horizontal. If I move it right, it will move the subtitle to the right. And you see that in the preview screen. If I move the Y position left, it will move it up. So the X is horizontal, the Y is vertical. And so I can change that. I can again apply it to all my subtitles. Or I can reset it to the default. We'll leave that one there. And so this subtitle is bright red in the upper part. And as I go to play my video, I come to the last one. It's a different font centered on the bottom. So that's some of the ways in which you can modify the fonts and the appearance and location of the subtitles in your projects in PowerDirector. But there's more, and we'll deal with that in the next lesson on subtitles. Mm -hmm.